Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I did say that I was probably just going to do four vanilla runs, and uh, that's still probably going to be the case since I said it about, you know, ten minutes ago, and uh, an hour ago, and all that good stuff. So yesterday we had uh, quite the marathon with Eve, and uh, didn't quite work out, but today we're going to random Samson, and I'm not actually going to play Samson. Uh, I've said that Samson is just not happening. Blue Baby was too recent. Let's just... Maggie. Okay, I'm fine with Maggie, even though there was a semi-recent Maggie run. Um, Maggie is a little more interesting. Let's just you know, go ahead and say that. Uh, just because it's... I, I mean, it's not more interesting than Blue Baby or, say, Samson, because they're more difficult characters. But more interesting because uh, we haven't seen as much, and uh, there are other options with her that I haven't explored in a little bit. She can take deals with the devil more e easily, but I am still in the same play session, which means that we could start off with Angel Rooms very, uh, very easily as well. Thanks to picking up the remote detonator, we do have five bombs. And that means I can hit up this tinted rock no problem. Now, this is the basement, so that means we're going to have an easier time than we might have normally on the cellar. Uh, that's cool, I'm happy with that. Come on, there we go. So now let's see what's in this tinted rock. Hopefully the small rock. Nope, just a soul heart, which like I have uh, started doing a little bit yesterday, basically. I'm not going to take that immediately, but I will take it, of course. Just because uh, maybe I get a curse room and uh, I won't want to lose a soul heart, so I can do that. Uh, ideally, this run is not going to take as long as the Eve run that we just the just that we just had. That was a long video. I definitely don't want to record four hour long runs today, but I am trying to finish myself uh, finish off the videos before leaving so that I can do cool stuff uh, while I'm still here before I leave. So I won't use this pill yet. Let's see what's in here. Spiders are in here. All right, we take this, and then we take this. Tears down. That sucks. Duke of Flies. Okay, we still have better fire rate than Samson, I believe, which is kind of funny because Samson's garbage. Um, but you know, hopefully we get something good here that maybe gives us a tears up, or maybe just helps us in general. Uh, it's so weird right now that I have <laughs> so much more damage than Eve. Which is just so weird. Because, I mean, Eve does have terrible damage, yes. But it's strange how much of a difference it makes. Because, I mean, wow. I don't know what 3 fourths of 3.5 is, but that's how much damage Eve starts with, and we have 3.5 damage now as Maggie. What's a fourth of 35, basically? Uh, it's probably around... I mean, it's just under 8, so 0.8 less, almost. Wow, that's a lot. It's like, act or maybe it's just over 8. That, Yeah, it's just over 8. That's the one. So, wow, a little more than 0.8 less damage for Eve. That is crazy. I'll take the speed up, because then I can afford a speed down later, I suppose. Uh, we know that the secret room isn't next to the curse room, because there wasn't one in there. So it's going to be here, and in here we'll find three cents. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Didn't want to go to the shop, because, I mean, I didn't even have enough for a seven cent item if there was one. We're going to, of course, pick up our soul heart and then be on our way, where hopefully we'll find something really good in the item room instead of uh, not really good. And tomorrow I'm going to do an Isaac run, or well, you know, for me, it's going to be whenever this run's over, I'm going to do an Isaac run and try to break the game a little bit again, see if I can do really cool things, and it's going to be awesome because I'll be starting off with the possibility of Angel Rooms, which is, uh, you know, totally a difference. I don't have any keys, unfortunately, otherwise I'd be able to go to the item room right away, which is always a nice touch. There's a Tinted Rock in here, and I have enough bombs, always also a nice touch. Come on, die. Die, I dare you. There we go. See what this tinted rock gives us. Uh, if it's a soul heart, I'll just start taking them because, um, you know, I already have one. Basically, I th I think that the only reason not to take soul hearts for uh, possible advantages later, excuse me, is if you already if you don't have soul hearts. If you already have soul hearts, there's no reason not to take more. Still looking for a key. Hopefully, this game doesn't do me wrong. I don't like being done wrong. That's a bomb. Let's see if there's anything in here. It's not even something I could open if I wanted to. Drop a key, you're a champion. You can do that. I require your services. Please. 
Let's see. Let's see. No, no. <laughs> We're just getting ruined here. Uh, I'm going to use bomb here. Darn. I was hoping that one of them would wander their way next to my bomb. Oh, 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 bah, uh, okay. So I guess that this means that what I'm going to have to do is go to the arcade, most likely to look for my key to go to my item room. But for now, we're going to fight Pin, and we should earn a deal with the Devil or Angel Room, hopefully, just uh, because, you know, we shouldn't take any red hard damage here. If I take six hits, actually, if I take seven hits, which would be required in order to take uh, red hard damage, uh, that would be really embarrassing on Pin. Then again, the green bomb would do a full heart of damage, so it's possible that I'd only need to take four hits. Possible. Come on. Basically, I'm doing a cheese right now. If you stay against one of the walls, you get him caught in a loop where he just jumps toward the wall and you can just do this really easily. Uh, it's the lazy way to fight him. He's so easy of a boss that you don't actually need to cheese, but it, it's, it's a thing you can do. And so, there you go. He killed himself. We didn't earn anything, but we got health up at least. Uh, let's go gamble. How do we not get any of these rooms? I did everything right there. Three locations for the secret room, but I'm probably not going to look for it, honestly. It could be a benefit, but at the same time... Do I care a ton? Keratin? Oh, wow. Gave me a key immediately. We got the IV bag, uh, which means that... I'll get myself to uh, 15 cents and be on my way, I suppose. Uh, did I play the... No, I didn't play him. Okay. Oh, look, money. What a nice dude. Let's go in here and we get Wiggle Worm. Fine. Fine. You think I won't take it? You are... You're just sorely mistaken. Uh, now I guess we play three more times in here in hopes of winning another key. And then going to the item room. Oh, nice! We're getting lucky right now. So, uh, I guess let's go to the shop and hope for something awesome like the candle. Uh, the battery is a worthwhile purchase. That'll uh, allow our thingy to charge. It'll allow our spacebar item to charge up to three times in the room. Although, apparently, I'm wrong about saying that. And it can charge all the way up to all like the full six charges every room. But I do not... I don't know how long that takes. So, you know, there there we go. <laughs> and thus I, I would uh, I would uh, say that you may as well only count it as um, three charges per room because three charges per room is reasonable. Whereas six charges per room, that takes a lot of patience and something I'm not going to do in uh, this in a video. I might do it on stream but not in a video. Speaking of streaming, I need to start streaming again. I know. Trust me. I know very well. Oh man, though. We need we need tears up. Get back to where we started, hopefully. Come on, Wiggle Worm, do me better. <sighs> Fine, we'll take it from over here. Oh, but you can see me here. I don't like that. See what's in a challenge room? A golden chest, so no thank you. We can't get that bomb. We just want to go to the item room. That's all I want to do. Nope. Come on, don't do me like this. Don't do it. <sighs> it's going to take forever, isn't it? Is this what you're going to do to me? Man, recording is taking a lot longer than I expected to, but that's just because of the Eve run I just did. Like I said, uh, today, this video is going up on Friday, which means I am already on vacation when this uh, goes. We're, we're going to have left by the time this video is live. So that's, uh, that's the way of the world sometimes. But, like I said, I will be answering comments regardless. Um, maybe not as instantly, but I will be answering them. Wow, that's some terrible damage to take. Uh, hi. Oh my gosh, hives. You jerks. Pin. 
pill. Pill could be good. Pill is telepills. Inconvenienced me. Whatever. I need to shave. It's okay, I'm going to do that after I stop recording. Okay. Hosts, not going to be difficult. Don't do this. Don't do this. Stop playing this game with me. Can't quite kill them in one... One, uh... Thingy. I don't know what to call it. One shot, basically. One time where they stand up. Because I have too low of a fire rate. Normally you can, but not with this fire rate. Not if you're Samson. So we're fighting Gertie. Gertie won't be too hard. Just make use of the quarter circle dodging. And I'm not even doing it here, but it's working. Uh, you know, I thought I would position myself a little better for that. And I'm going to use bombs just to make my life a little faster. Mostly just... Yeah, like I said, save time. I'm not going to use all of my bombs, though. I just wanted to speed up the fight at all so that I could have a nice time and not be too... I mean, my damage and tears are just bad right now. They're better than EVE. Well, damage is better than EVE, but tears are not. So, honestly, our DPS's EVE was probably better than what we have right now due to our fire rate and the fact that we had a high fire rate as EVE. Whatever, man. We're almost done, and that is what counts. Get some pills. Not going to test them yet. I want to go to the angel room and pick up scapular. What a surprise. If we get down to half of a red heart, we will get a uh, nice and... Oh, wow, health up. Range down. Tears down, no thanks. And uh, bad gas. If we get down to half heart, we get a soul heart, which, hey, that can be pretty cool. So we gotta find the item room. Where if we would have gotten the D6, I guess I'll be sad. Because uh, I could have had a D6 reroll on that scapular, but scapular is pretty good. It's totally underrated, I'd say. So we may not even be sad about, uh, about whatever. Good, good. Bad damage against gazing globins. Gazing globins are annoying. Oh, that was amazing. I'm amazing. Come on. Oh god, okay. They try to juke me, and I, I then have to, like, super juke them, and it's just crazy. It is crazy. And we get Book of Shadows. Ten seconds of invincibility. I think I'll stick with recovery for now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Bombs? Come on. So, basically, this floor was kind of a bust. We got scapular and a health up, but... That's kind of all we got. Okay. To the next floor. Caves 2. Not looking amazing yet. I don't want tears down, although I could take it just in case we find the lucky foot or PhD. Uh, I'm not really counting on it, so uh, that's just not what I'm doing. Oh, got hit there. Almost got hit, but I was still invincible, which is nice. Oh yeah, that one battery charge. Oh my god, I can't believe I got hit there. Wiggle worm, don't do me this. Uh, wiggle worm. Wiggle worm. <laughs> Whatever. Technically a profit, so I should go get this bomb. The right thing to do. I will play this demon beggar because I need the advantage. <sighs> I, I don't think I could have done that in one. Yeah, I could not have. Come on, give me the thing. Okay, it's telepills. Played him twice, but I was totally going to anyways. So now we have Brimstone Wiggle Worm is worthless. Uh, that's fine. Brimstone multiplies our damage by three. And uh, now we have this laser that we have to charge. Uh, I think that <laughs> I'm glad it gave me Brimstone. Mom's Knife would have been better, but we haven't had a Brimstone run as recently as we've had a Mom's Knife run. We've had a few Mom's Knife runs recently, actually. Alright, do we know this pill? Is this pill... Okay, it's not health up, but we know it's not telepills. Friends to the End gives us three Kamikaze Flies, which do twice our damage. Go figure we get the Lucky Foot right after I was talking about. 
not taking that tears down with us because what are the chances? Anyway, now all pills have to be good or neutral, but it won't change um, telepills. We can still get telepills with Lucky Foot though. It's uh, the PhD where you can't get telepills. So um, tears down becomes tears up, health down becomes health up, etc., etc. Uh, let's use the telepills now. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. You don't even understand. That was my plan all along, and we got super bandage, which is one red heart and two soul hearts. That's awesome. Sometimes the game really is just in tune with my my life, what I need from it. So anyway, now we're looking for, you know, damage ups will do big things for us. Uh, tears ups will help us charge a little faster. We could get good things going. Potentially. Uh, we're probably going to kill the Larry Juniors super easily. Should be able to one-shot them. Oh, you didn't die. Okay, there we go. Oh, we can one-shot them. I guess our damage isn't as good as I was thinking it would be. But we haven't gotten any damage ups, so it kind of makes sense. May as well use the um heart if we're down a heart, right? You know? It's now on to the boss. I can't believe that telepills went so well. Finding the boss and then hoping for damage ups mostly. Alright, I'm gonna kill that. I actually, you know, I'm glad that I didn't hit the TNT because that means I would have blown myself up and I saw that and I was just like, well, what can you do? Extra rooms, I I will visit extra rooms just because it's not like I have the D6 and some, you know, I'm not wasting any. Cool. Oh, okay. Here we go. Nice, free money. I will probably go to the shop. It could be greed, 50% chance right now. Oh, man, I can't believe I got hit there. What do you want from me? Anyway. I'll go to the shop later, probably. If, if I go at all, I'll do it later. I'll do it eventually. But we good. Oh, there we go. There's the key. So now I feel totally comfortable going to the shop after I fight this boss and all that good stuff. Hopefully we get an angel room. Oh, of course it's Chad. Which means we get little Chad, half red heart every so often. It's every two rooms, I believe. Um, we do triple damage to him, essentially, because he has three sections that each take damage individually. So that's a nice thing about Brimstone against Chubb or Chad. Uh, hopefully we get an angel room which contains Sacred Heart. We didn't. Uh, that's real disappointing. Whatever. Still exploring. I, I do feel good that I have a little extra speed. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Because I did pick up that wooden spoon earlier for the extra speed. Which uh, I think is okay on Maggie. I don't mind a little more speed on uh, Maggie. Judas as well, probably. Here we go to the shop. The shop is going to contain a candle. Hopefully. I would love to get the candle right now. The Notched Axe. Oh man, you really, you really do spoil me, Isaac. But at least we have a ton of health. If we get a bunch of deals with the devil, I would be happy with that. Uh, or if we got Sacred Heart, I'd be super happy with that as well. Not that the homing would do anything for us, but damage times 2.3 plus 1, that's really good. Funny, it's not as good as uh, of a damage up as Polyphemus. But it's a better item, I'd say, for sure. Because it's not as significant of a tears down, and it gives you homing and all that good stuff. It's quite an item. It also gives you full health and a soul heart. I uh, almost forgot about that. Careful. Trying to kill me, Vomit Grimace? I mean, of course the answer is yes. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> what can I do? Don't shoot at me after I kill everything. It's not what you're supposed to do. Oh, unfortunately, whew, I don't kill these guys in one shot. I really would like a little more damage in that case. Like, very, very much, preferably. Hopefully this, uh, item room will give us Polyphemus or something. 
This is technically worth it, which means we definitely do it. I was going to do it anyway. Darn. Super troll bombs trolling me. Here is our room of the item variety. Nope. Oh, God, it almost was a predictive shot, like a brilliant, brilliant game. That the forget me now. I'm not going to say no. I'm actually probably going to use it, honestly. Mask of Infamy is totally okay with Brimstone. Brimstone is, like, the best. So, for once, this fight doesn't suck, and I think that if we use the Forget Me Now, we have to fight the same boss. I could... It could be a different boss, actually. It might be... A, uh, I think it is a different boss. Because we could probably get the Depths one instead of the Acropolis one. So, never mind what I was just saying. Regardless, we'll get to do an extra floor. Uh, with Brimstone, I'm okay with fighting uh, like Necropolis one twice. Um, but I do want to go to the shop as the first thing. And um, see if there's a curse room. Curse room would be great. And I want to find out if there is a nice Devil or Angel room here for me. See, Mask of Infamy not even causing a problem. He just has a lot of health for... There we go. Health up, Angel Room. Angel Room contains... The Bible. Well, at least we won't see that again. Go away. Now we just search a little, and then we uh, forget me now. Unfortunately, if we find the candle in the shop, well, tough, tough life. Because the forget me now is totally 100% worth it right now. Because I'm in a pretty good situation, and uh, we stand to benefit greatly. Again, I don't care about the soul heart that much. I do have a bunch of health. Uh, oh, darn it. I don't need the kamikaze flies. Twice our damage? Yeah, it's good, but it's not It's not a game changer because they're not consistent. But who am I to complain? At least I didn't get troll bombs. Now we just want to find the shoop de whoop Not the shoop de whoop The shop. The shop de wop See? Oh, I was trying to maneuver and then map geometry geometried me. It's a terrible situation. Many lives were lost. All that good stuff. Or bad stuff. Technically. Close. No, don't do this to me. You move that way. I kill you. We are all good. Find the shop. That's all I want to find. Oh, oh wow. That was a smart shot from that gurgle. Oh, cool. Found the secret room. Secret room will contain something good, hopefully. Okay. Raw liver, maybe? Nine cents. Not entirely necessary, but, you know, whatever. And this is an extra chance at an angel room, basically. That's another uh, positive to redoing this floor. Now, is there any reason that I'd want to uh, go anywhere else? Okay. Goat hoof is a speed up. That's fine. Okay, this is greed. I don't know if that means that it'll be greed once we reroll the floor, or if it means it can't be greed, or what it means regarding that. Uh, I guess there's probably the chance of getting a mini boss on the floor reroll, but I don't know if that means that, uh, like, I don't know if we can't get greed right now, basically. I'm willing to play this for a little while, for sure. Chance of a blood bag would be nice. We've already used the IV bag, so it shouldn't appear again, but I don't know if it's the same as the uh, blood bag, where it can appear multiple times just because it's not in a pool. Uh, I don't know. So I'll go to this much health, and then I'll go look for some health, and then I'll reroll the floor. Okay, that's a full heart. Full hearts are good. I have to pee. I guess I'll do that after this run. Before the next one! I'm not used to doing these marathon sessions, recording a bunch of videos in a row. Okay, that's a half heart. That's good. And then we'll go down next to that curse room and have... Exactly what we desire is a half heart. Well, whatever. So we lost the um heart, but that's not a big deal. We got depths rather than necropolis. And here is our item room and our shop immediately. Item room contains the bomb bag. I don't really think I need that, so I'm not going to take it, unfortunately. Bomb bag would just give us a bomb after every few rooms. I don't really need bombs, and I'd rather be able to get more passive items. Later, should we make it to the chest, which I'm thinking is a very reasonable possibility. So, uh, that's what we're planning on, basically. Thanks, little Chad. You're a bro. 
I have the lucky foot, so technically I should be spending all of my money right here. Because we're going to win every single time. I actually didn't want the rusted key. I would prefer the goat hoof, I think. The moon takes us to the secret room. The hangman gives us passive flight. I'll just use that immediately. What is this? Two of spades. Would give us two keys. I'm just going to use it. Uh, lucky toe. More item drops. Or, well, more drops after rooms. There we go. These are the soul hearts I'm after. Safety cap for more pills, which is also actually a better pickup for us. Just because we know at least we've got um, tears up, right? You know? Because remember, Lucky Foot is the reason we're winning nonstop here, and also is uh, going to make our, our all of our pills good or neutral. The Hermit. Oh, cool. Bum friend, no thanks. Oh, I forgot. I'm not flying anymore. Going to get both of these and not Bum Friend, even though Bum Friend is technically going to be useful for us. Uh, I'll probably get Bum Friend in a, in a bit. Because it's not like we're going to need much money after this. Left hand would turn all chests into red chests. Darn it. Might have lost my safety cap. There we go. What is this? Judgment spawns a beggar. Uh, I'll... Fine, I'll buy this. Um, the moon takes us to the secret room. Gonna use that right away. Three cents, secret room's all the way over here. Why did I shoot that way when I could have shot both of them at once? The world may never know. Whatever, we're gonna get back to where we were. We're gonna take that judgment card and we're gonna earn an angel room where we're gonna get a second angel room item, hopefully. And that'll be Sacred Heart, and then suddenly all of our concerns will be gone. That's the plan. Things, plans don't always go according to plan. You know, just according to Keikaku. Is there an invisible body over there? Okay, guess not. Nope, guess not. Right, bum friend, give me something for that. Nope. I do not know if Bumfriend has a specific uh, threshold where he has to pay something by then. So we we just we're just gonna live this uh, live this as, as it comes. Half heart, half heart key. Sure. Come on, stop missing the key. We need the key. Okay, one shotting brains. Up, oh, almost dodged that, and then I dodged back into it. Wee okay, nothing for me now. It's fine as well. I'll live, I guess. Now let's hit up this judgment card, not use it yet. Crystal Ball shows us the full map and could give us a soul heart or a tarot card. Okay, so that's like a useless path, which means chances are I won't go to it until I've already fought the boss and stuff. But now we know everything except the top secret room, which is fine, because uh, I'm not too concerned with that. I will play this beggar. I'll play the beggar after I know if I'm going to the angel room or not here. Because I wouldn't want to take a ton of money for that one when I could have gotten Sacred Heart from the other one, you know? But I definitely would like to play it. Uh, yeah, I will use a key for this, as well as a bomb. Sure, this pill is bad gas, darn it. Of all the things you could have given me, we had a few good pills. We know there's a health up pill even in the rotation. And that was without getting uh, the lucky foot, which is cool. Monstro 2, sure. Lock him in the pro strat. We don't have any knockback, so he's just going to sit here and we are just going to wreck him. forgot we have the battery, so that means we're going to get more charges for this just by taking time in rooms. And that saves us time when it's a six room recharge for sure. Man, our damage is not nearly as good as I would like it to be. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I would really appreciate a damage up in some fashion or another. Uh, I guess this is going to... We'll see if we get another charge for this. Oh, look, we do. There's a tarot card. Maybe it's the Joker. That would be really nice. Or it's a playing card rather than a tarot card. Maybe this will be good. Hopefully. 
Almost walked into him. That would have been smart of me. We're kind of firing the same shot, basically. I didn't actually think that that one would work. I thought I botched it, and then he was going to get out of the out of the pattern, and then I would be sad. But there we go. Uh, shot speed up, I do not want. Two of clubs. Doubles are bombs. Oop. Uh, I guess I'll go play that beggar, and then we'll see. We'll see, basically. Uh, if there there's not a curse room, we already know that, because we'd be able to uh, see on the map due to the... Forge the mad the crystal ball. That's the one. Sorry, drop something. Come on, keep taking my money. Don't think I won't blow you up eventually. Justice, that's good. Fine, I will take another bomb instead of that scent, because I don't really need the scent. Of course we do have another shop, and uh, Greed is probably definitely in it, baby? I, I don't know. Man, you are just taking all of my cash. I hope you know that I just I don't want this from you. Two of clubs again, doubling our bombs, so now we have tons and tons of bombs. Oh, come on. Health up cost me a lot of money for that. I'm not going to do the rest of the floor because I know there's no reward in it for me basically except extra charges which could be nice but I'd rather have them on a floor where I'm going to spend more time like again. So here we are on Curse of Lost which uh, increases the size of the floor by four rooms. I could get that pill but do I know what it is? I, I don't know. Telepills. Darn. I don't really want to teleport. Anyway, that was me. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Showing off that you can go through spikes horizontally and vertically as well. Tears up. Awesome. Full map. Another tarot card. Hanged man. Uh, well, I guess I'll leave it laying around for a little while, but it, I don't care for it too much. Still bad damage, but maybe we'll get the small rock from this tinted rock. Could happen. Hopefully it does happen. Uh, please place the bomb. Thank you. Bad gas. No. Tears up again. So again, uh, we get some more speed charging. Or we should. We have a lot of keys, so I guess we may as well go to the shop as well as the uh, item room. Awesome. The compass by default if we can get that money. Which we haven't gotten to the secret room yet, so we probably can. At the same time, we don't necessarily want to in case we can get a teleport so that we can uh, use this judgment card in uh, the devil room or angel room, as the case may be for this floor. I don't know. This, this is an interesting predicament we find ourselves in. Yeah, you can have that. Child's heart? No thanks. I'm going to take this now because I don't plan on using any blood donation machines or anything. Because getting all the way down to one heart for this, ridiculous. Uh, I'm just gonna fight the boss, I guess. Because I, I think that. Do I have? Where do I have a chance of getting any teleports? I really want to teleport. I can clear the floor in hopes of a teleport. I mean, wait. There's a telepills. There's a telepills. Okay. Crisis averted. I don't have to clear the floor anymore. And... Okay, we're good. Watch it take me to the I Am Error room out of the boss room. That would be so trolly. Oh my gosh, stop it. Stop it. Alright, so we're going to grab the telepills. And then we're going to hope that it doesn't teleport us like way out yonder in the middle of nowhere. What, what, that was, what was this? Bad gas. Just go away. And uh, that's not a teleport, is it? Hangman is just passive flight, which will help us get the telepills, so I'll use that. Then I don't have to worry about executing the trick properly. You can go through spikes horizontally and vertically, though. I have a video on it. 
that's one of my PSAs, which is uh, one of the most viewed series. Well, it was. But, yeah. Let's go fight the mom fight and teleport on out once we kill so that we can get uh, the chance at an angel room or devil room. Hopefully... I don't know, I guess hopefully a devil room if we're not going to get Sacred Heart, which we're probably not, if we're being honest with ourselves. We don't have any reason to do the cheese where you stand next to a door. Much as I like doing it, uh, it, it just isn't going to make a huge difference for us. Because we just, we're, just, we're going to take forever to keep charging and damaging and stuff. It's uh, not 100% worth it. It's good to have a better charge, though. Oh, walked into that one. Oh, walked into that one. Don't want to lose the Eternal Heart. Thank you. Get away from the door. Get away from the other door. Oh, man, that's terrible. But flies are actually a larger concern when you have brimstone than they normally would be. Get away from me, Claudie. I hate you. Claudies are really big jerks. We haven't realized this by now. We're almost done. Taking its sweet time finishing, but it is. We're getting there. Oh. Okay, so now we just take no more damage. Otherwise, I made a huge mistake taking the Eternal Heart. Okay, I'm going to wait on the foot. And there we go. We get a win. We get a health up. We get a Polaroid. We get a Telepills. Which took me exactly where I didn't want it to, unfortunately. But this is to be expected. Literally to the furthest point, though, I believe, from where we want to be. Didn't even take me to the boss challenge room. Oh, Judas's tongue is a good pickup, but I'm... Oh, well, goodbye, Eternal Heart. Again, this room is garbage design-wise, because it's a gear check, and I passed, or I, I failed, rather. So I couldn't avoid losing that Eternal Heart, unfortunately. It shouldn't be in the game. It's poor design. You need either a bunch of damage or flight, and I have neither. Whatever, though. Friends till the end. Whatever. I already lost my eternal heart. At least I got a health up, though, for the boss. So, and now we don't even have the guarantee of the um, angel or devil room. We just have a chance that if we earned it, it's now there. Which is not a guarantee. I shouldn't have taken that half heart. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this for a while. I want some more money. Hey, bum friend, come over here. Thanks. You just keep winning this fight, don't you? I need some of that. <sighs> come on. Tears up and tears up is good. You know, bum friend, I wanted some of this money. And I haven't gotten any of it. I didn't mean to play this either. Whatever, this is good enough. Let's get out of here. Um, I think there's two half hearts and a full heart, which is what I want because. Or, well, there are two half hearts. That's good enough. Uh, I just want to be at a half heart when I'm done here. Unfortunately, I didn't get what I needed from that whole thing. I don't know what's in this last room, so that's why I didn't pick up the half heart. If it's a half heart, I guess I'll go back for it, because it helps. It's a full heart and a half heart. Well, then I guess I'll go back. Do we get Moment of Truth awesome win epic awesome sweet? I don't know. Hopefully. Because otherwise, I'll just use this Judgment card whenever. I mean, I could get a Devil or Angel Room on the next floor as well. Which could allow me to use it there. Nothing. I'm just leaving. I'm not getting down to a f uh, one heart to go to the boss challenge room on the previous floor. I wasn't going to do that. Not really worth it. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay. Now we have the map. I was going the right way. Excellent. Oh, I should have checked the secret room. Get a soul heart because it was a blue boss. That's how things work around here. Oops, missed that. I don't... I wasn't paying attention to the screen. I was poorly planning on that coin, apparently. Bombs. I'm missing a lot of pickups right now. Okay, 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 come on. If it's a bunch of money, I want it more than you, bum friend. I need to stock up for this judgment card. Onwards and towards the boss. No way I was going to one-shot them anyway. That takes a lot more than I've got. My one-shot Claudies, though. Oh, I thought I had a full charge for some reason. What am I doing with my life? I've lost control of my life. Obviously. Nope, don't want either of those. Those would be a detriment. You think you're hot stuff, baby? They're just called babies, so I mean... You know, don't get the wrong idea. I guess I'll use this. Tarot card is the moon, that doesn't really help me. It has a small chance of teleporting us to the top secret room, I believe, but I don't care. Tears up again. I don't think it's doing much for us if it is doing anything. Oh, that hit me. Gosh. Yes, a bomb for a key is worth it. Wait, get out. So I blow up all of the rocks. There we go. Haven't gotten a single damage up. This is a slow, painful run. Like, brimstone doesn't mean you're in a great position immediately. It just means that I'm in a much better position than I was without it. Oh, you guys just keep existing, don't you? I do want the full heart. There's more than one half heart now. I, I can just get them both in the other room. Then I have to backtrack less later if I have to do it again. It's the idea, at least. Come on. Okay, Monstro is easy. Monstro is easy enough. I really hope we get this Devil or Angel room. I really, really do. But, if not, at least I just can use this beggar freely whenever I want. There is a curse room that I could always use to try and teleport there. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, probably. So maybe I'll do that. No, I don't want that. I do not. Do not. The Fallen, that's really good. We could get a Devil... Well, we will get a Devil Room item. That can make a nice difference in our lives. Uh, poor damage. So I'm a little slow for him. Oh, let's check this out and see what this tarot card is. The Fool teleports us back to the starting room. Oops. Whatever. Hopefully we don't, like, die or anything. Just like to make sure to hit them both at once, at least at the very start, when you can, because it does that nice, juicy extra damage, sort of. There we go. See? I mean, it's not extra damage to either one of them, but it's extra... It's like doing your damage twice for the total... Oh, no! I thought I'd get out of that. One of them's bound to be almost dead, right? So we don't have that extra chance of a deal with the devil, unfortunately, uh, from not taking boss damage. And we didn't get one, and it's Bloody Lust! That's such garbage! Bloody Lust is a terrible item. Uh, at this point, freaking terrible item. Not worth having. Wait, was there a half heart in there? New. No. Let us go to the curse room. Take two hearts of damage for it. God, we get all these marathon runs in a row. I'm going to be sad. I guess this is why you go only Isaac. Alright, I don't even know what this pill does. Do I? Range up. That doesn't do anything for me. Keep on going. Cool, we, uh, we like, quarter shot hit the kill those guys. 
Nope, nope, don't, don't mess with me. Don't mess so m Whoa, that was some crazy dodging. Okay. Almost to the curse room, which could hopefully change our whole lives. Oh. That's cool, though, that we just got the three different types of leeches. That's very cool, in fact. Okay, so we got that from the champion, no tinted rock. See what we got. Not what I wanted. Well, this is sad. So, you know what? Considering that these two videos took as long as I expected um, one video to take, I'm probably going to stop for today after this, and I'll just do the last two tomorrow. Uh, you know, I'm still ahead. So that's fine. Next floor, we... Uh, well, we can still get a deal with the Devil Room or Angel Room after the boss, and then we can use the Judgment Card in there, and that'll help. So we use this. We get a playing card for the Joker, which does not help us at all. But I will take it to the next floor, most likely. Reason being, oh yeah, we have Bloody Lust now, so at least uh, Fistula is going to be a boss where we have an, a better time. But really, it's going to be useless for the rest of the game, pretty much. Except against uh, the heart here. I do want to check the secret room. It'll be useful against the heart, and that's about the last time in the game. Nope, I need this money more than you do, bum friend. I don't actually care about your feelings, bum friend. Because you're a jerk sometimes. Mostly tears up. Mostly tears up. Haven't seen any health ups in a while. I would like to. Much health as I can get. Oh, well, I'm gonna get hit there. As if on cue, by the way. So we'll hope to earn a deal with the devil after this boss, or angel room, of course. I hate bloodshot eyes so much. I do want the full heart there. Uh, two of spades doubles our keys. I'm happy with that. Bad gas, no thanks. Uh, anyway, we want to earn the room after this. If not, I'm just going to use the judgment card immediately. And then I'll take the joker card with us to the next floor, which uh, means we can just get a deal with the devil right away, or angel room, if that is the case. And that'll help us out. Perfect. Uh, oh, but I positioned that so perfectly. Uh, yeah, we just fight this now. And... didn't kill that in one hit. There we go. So now, begin the rage build. Which, you know, not gonna be hard or anything. Every enemy will give us 0.28 damage up to a max of 3.3, so it maxes out pretty quickly, doesn't do very much. Uh, it's just bad. But, in this boss fight, it will be semi-useful. I don't know if every section of Larry Jr. counts as a kill or not, but it totally might. I have enough bombs that this is totally fine to just keep using them for this. Don't mind at all. Uh, I'd say we're likely to be in a good place for... Uh... What are you still doing down here? Thank you. Uh, we're probably in a good place for getting that deal with the devil. We're also pretty much guaranteed to be maxed out already for uh, Rage. Alright, Chubb. Easy enough, because our damage has been increased. Oh, there we go. Repeated bombs means, you know, no problems. Just keep on shooting. That was weird. Stop, stop, stop. Alright then. About to be done. Come on, give me the room. You didn't give me the room! How could you do this to me? To the curse room we go then. I shouldn't have taken that. What am I doing with my life? Whatever. We're going to the curse room and we're using it in there. And then we'll hopefully get some from it. We've got 25 cents, which means we can very, very likely get it to pay out. Ah, <sighs> that's such garbage. I am going to do this and we're going to leave, enter, move away. More stuff blown up. Good times. Pill, what is it? Is it health up? It is health up. Awesome. Finally. 
is more like it. So we just wasted that soul heart. Uh, okay, super troll bomb, it's fine. Demon beggar, screw you, I'm playing you anyway. Not like I'm getting any less value out of you than I normally would. Yes, Blood of the Martyr increases our damage by like 1.5 or something like that. Finally a damage up, that's basically how I feel. So that means we would have gotten to deal with the devil on this floor, uh, if, rather than an angel room. So now we take the Joker to the next floor, hopefully get something amazing from the uh, devil or angel room, whichever it is. And other than that, I guess we just gotta roll with it. Yeah, we're going to the cathedral. We can totally handle this. Devil room, angel room, guardian angel is better than nothing. Screw you, I'm doing it. Wholeheartedly expected to teleport, but now we're in a bad place and I don't even care. Sooner than later, hopefully, uh, we'll end up with a nice charge on our spacebar item. And that'll get us a nice map so we'll know if we're going the wrong way. Full hearts are good. Yeah, you can have it now. I don't need that money. I'm gonna leave. Up, oh, conveniently right where I was. Whatever. Mm, well, famine's easy. If he spawns enemies, then well, we can build up our rage, which isn't gonna be very big of a deal. I really do have to pee. Real bad. But considering these past two videos have been so very long, I'm definitely just gonna stick with these two for today. And then I'll do the last two on my last day, and everything will be good. Uh, everything else is already recorded for the break where I'm gone. Which is fine. Good damage. Are we going the river? Going the right way. What is this card? The stars. Teleports us to the item room, which is just a random teleport for us right now, so I don't have any interest in using that. I don't know if it counts as telepill, so I don't know if it could take us to the I am error room, which means I don't know if it could uh, screw us over on the chest. Range up, again useless. Range doesn't factor into brimstone damage as far as I know. That was really bad walking. So I think we're going to lose. Don't care that much, honestly. This was a kind of painful run. Stop, 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 stop. Don't do this to me. There we go. Uh, yeah, our damage is pretty... Oh, I failed that one. Our damage is pretty bad. We did get a damage up, yes. But it's not doing too much for us, for sure. There's one extra heart total we could get. I guess I may as well... Oh my god, how do I keep missing this? I guess I may as well backtrack for it. Oh, I didn't think I'd walk in one now. I may as well definitely backtrack for it if I don't even die in this room. Ah, taking it slow, taking it slow. Keep it going. Perfect. Full heart. Telepills. I'd rather have the stars than the telepills in case it is a difference. And then we want to go this way. Oops. Get that last half heart. See what we can accomplish. So, Isaac fight. Three hits. We're going to use the crystal ball. And then if it's a soul heart, we're not going to take it immediately. It's a tarot card. What is a tarot card? The tower. Screw you. I'm taking the chance. That was not very useful. But if it was a soul heart, we wouldn't have taken it so that we could get a second session of Polaroid Invincibility. We do have the scapular, though, so we still will get that second session. Uh, better than nothing, but at the same time, we are not in a good place. We do have the Guardian Angel protecting us a little. We're not shooting much, so we're doing short bursts of high-ish damage, I guess. Uh, so we, we're going to have an easier time there. Oh, get in there, place a bomb. Because bombs help. Maybe, in fact. Back off. Phase two. Why don't we just use bombs? They'll shoot a little less. They probably do. Oh, gosh darn it. Get in there with Guardian Angel. 
They're probably doing similar levels of damage to Brimstone. At the same time, though, this is not gonna be good. Oh, no, you do not. This is a strategy I haven't explored too much, and, well, it's not going as badly as it could be. Okay, so now we want to start killing stuff. Oh, that sucks. I got super screwed by that beam of light. Uh, rage is building, which means that we're getting more damage for killing these dudes, which is another... Oh. It means we want to kill them, basically. Oh, okay, well, again, another marathon run. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments, and I'll do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining to watch. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.